Maybe Elvis Presley singing sentimental ballads to the raving crowd is not the first thing that comes into your head when you think about Jewish celebration. But this festival on Trafalgar Square is everything but traditional. For the occasion, the square was transformed into a big stage for vibrant and eclectic celebration of Jewish culture. A whole afternoon of live entertainment, food, music and dance. For those who were just passing by, it seemed to be just another music festival so common for London's weekend. In fact, there is a bigger idea behind the celebration. This whole uh, show that's being put on today, it's not only music, it's a cultural thing. It's singing and dancing, and it's to, it's to introduce the Jewish way of life to, to the people of London and tourists if they happen to be passing by. Those who came to join Simha had a chance to taste traditional Jewish delights, learn about latest trends in art, buy books, crafts and jewelry. A festival on such a scale is a great challenge for the organizers. Has Simha 2007 been as successful as last year? The main difference is how relaxed everybody is. You know, 2006 was the first time that Jewish culture was brought out into the open in such a wonderful public place. And uh, this year, everybody is more enthusiastic. They know what they're doing. They're, they're loving it and they're much more relaxed. And it's a, a beautiful day again. From the traditional folk choreography and exotic bottle dance, the party moved to the cool electro groove, which obviously pleased the crowd that filled the square. Yeah. In Hebrew, Simha means joy. For those who joined the celebration, it was indeed a joy, making everybody wait impatiently for Simha 2008. Derek Eshkarova for Westminster News.